Boys and girls, well, I'm Miss Mud Pie Manners again, and I'm here to have some fun with you again. Do you remember last week we read How to Catch a Leprechaun? Can you hear the Irish music in the background? Yes, well today we're going to make a leprechaun puppet. And Miss Eddie, my friend, is going to help me. But boys and girls, remember, Miss Eddie is very shy. And we need to call her up so she can say hello to you. She's going to help me today. But let's call her Miss Eddie. Miss Eddie. Oh, Miss Eddie, I see you. Come on up and say hi to the boys and girls. Oh, I love the flower in your hair. Yes. Well, say hi. Yes. And Miss Eddie, are you going to help me today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, Miss Eddie, do you hear that Irish music in the background? Yeah. Well, we're going to make a leprechaun. Are you excited? You are. I know you are. Well, I'm going to put you down and then I'm going to get all the supplies that we need. I know you want to help me a little bit, but I'm going to I'm going to let you sit down over here with me, okay? All right. Well, boys and girls, first we're going to need a paper bag, okay, with the flap, because we're going to use the flap. We're going to need yarn. Mm -hmm. We're going to need something that you can draw a circle with. I'm using a lid of a container, and you can do the same thing. We need scissors. We need glue, we need markers, we need markers, and we need, hmm, what else do we need? We need wiggly eyes, but you can use buttons if you want to. You don't have to use wiggly eyes. We also need construction paper, and I have some yellow and I have some orange and I have some green, but you can use whatever color you want to to make your leprechaun puppet. And I'm gonna use green for the, for the suit of my leprechaun puppet and maybe pink for the head because that's the color I have today. All right, well, boys and girls, first we're going to take our bag and we're gonna lay it over here. Oh, Miss Eddie, I know, I know. Sh I, she just told me she wanted to show you what the leprechaun puppet looked like. Look at this. She wants to bring it up to you. Oh, it is wonderful. Is that what we're making today, Miss Eddie? Okay. Well, I'm going to put you down and then we will continue to make it, okay? So first, I'm going to get my pink paper out. And I have... I've been using this paper, so I'm just gonna use, I like to recycle, so I don't like to use too much paper. Um, so I'm gonna take my circle and I'm going to put it on the paper like this, and I'm gonna take my marker, whatever marker I have, doesn't matter what color, I'm going to draw a circle, tracing it around the, the circle like this. And if you need help, you can ask your mom and dad and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut around it like this. Mm -hmm. And if you have trouble cutting around it, it's okay. You can ask your mom and dad to help you. Or you can just do the very best you can because we always try our best, don't we? Well, I have some scrap paper over here, so I'm gonna lay that over here so that I have that for something else I might need. I'm gonna put my scissors down. And you know that when you hand scissors to somebody, you always hold this part and you hand, put the handle this way. That way it's safe, right? Well, I'm gonna take my paper bag and now I'm going to, you see how there's blue around here? Okay, well, I don't want that to show. So I'm going to glue that part. Sometimes you have to squeeze the glue really hard, don't you? Yes. And I'm going to glue this 
circle onto my paper bag like this. Okay, and I'm going to press it down like this. And now I'm going to make some ears. So this is what it looks like right now. It doesn't look like a leprechaun, does it? No. But now I'm going to make some ears. So you know that pink paper that I had before? Well, I am going to use that pink paper because I don't like to discard anything or throw away anything that I can use again. And I'm going to take this paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle on this pink paper. And then I'm going to draw a line down the middle. And do you know what those are going to be? Oh, yes, this is going to be his ears. So I'm going to cut this out like this. And where the line is, I'm going to cut right in half. So now I have his ears. And I'm going to place my scissors down very carefully. And now I'm going to take this paper and where the purple is, I don't want it to show. So I'm just going to glue it right here on each edge. I'm going to glue it on the edge of the face because we have ears, don't we? We have two ears, so I have to do two ears. And now I'm going to glue this right there on this side. So this is what it looks like now. You see, he's got his two ears and his head. Now, I'm gonna put this paper over here. Oh, this is the fun part. Because now, either you can have buttons or you can have wiggly eyes. And I'm choosing wiggly eyes on mine. I like wiggly eyes. Wiggly eyes make it look like they're really eyes. So I'm going to open up my package here and I'm gonna take out my big ones. I have small ones, I have big ones, and I have little ones, but I'm going to choose my big ones, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, and a little bit of glue here, and I'm going to take the eyes, and I'm going to glue them on the head like this. Okay, so now it should look like this. And now I'm going to make his mouth. And I'm going to use red for his mouth. You don't have to use red for his mouth. You can use any color. I'm going to make a smiley face on my leprechaun because I want my leprechaun to smile. So there we go. That's his head. But it doesn't look like a leprechaun yet, does it? What do we need? Oh, we need the body, don't we? So I'm going to take my green paper because a leprechaun is green. We found that out in our book, didn't we? So I'm going to take my green paper and I am going to draw a square. Now you see, we're going to cheat a little bit because here's a straight line and here's a straight line. You see those two straight lines? One right here and one right here. This is an angle. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to draw a line like this, okay? And you can make it as big as you want. And then I'm going to draw another line to attach it to there. Now, when I cut it out, it will look like a square. Just like this. Now you see how I have a square? See that? I'm going to take it and I'm going to glue it underneath his head, like so. Remember, you, you're going to glue the side that doesn't that has the blue on it because you don't want the other part to show. So I'm going to glue it right here, like this. Now this is going to be his part of his body. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm going to make his arms. Now his arms are rectangles, aren't they? So I'm going to take this part. You remember this part? 
where I had the square. Now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to cut some strips. And I'm going to cut a strip. Doesn't matter if it's even or not. It can be whatever you want. And I'm going to cut a strip right up like that. And I'm going to cut another strip. But this time I'm going to use this one to measure. Yes, I'm going to use this one to measure the same size as the other one. So I'm just going to put it down and draw a line like that. And then I'm going to cut that one out. So now I have his arms. Now his arms might be a little long, so I might have to cut them shorter. Let's see. Or we're gonna find out right now. So you see we have his arms here. And his arms are gonna go like this. But I think they might be a little long. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off. You don't have to cut it off if you don't want to. But I'm just gonna cut it off. And remember, I'm going to put this right next to it and then cut it like this so that both of them are the same length. Now I'm going to put my glue, put my glue in here, and I'm going to glue it onto the paper bag. Mm -hmm. You should be able to see that. You see that? You see what I'm doing? I'm putting it right here on top of here. So it should look like this. Now it's beginning to look like a leprechaun, isn't it? Yes. Now, hmm, what's missing? Ooh, his legs. Right. And are his legs longer than his arms? Yes, they are. So you remember that piece of paper I just used? I cut off the square for his body. I cut off this part for his arms. Now I'm gonna use this part for his legs. But it might be a little bit too long. But I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm just gonna cut a strip down. And if you're having trouble cutting your strip, it's okay. You can either get your mom to help you or, or you can, that's a little long, isn't it? That, that's, that'd be an awfully long leg, yes. So I'm going to cut another strip the same size. I'm going to just draw a line right down there, just like I did before. I'm going to move my puppet over here. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it here. And I'm just going to draw a line down here like this. And now I should have another strip, you see. So I'm going to cut this strip now, like this. Now you notice, too long, right? Too long. So I'm going to cut it off maybe this much. So it'll be this big. And then I'm going to put it on top of the other one and cut it off there. So now, if I use these two pieces, it would be really short legs, wouldn't it? That would be funny, wouldn't it? Well, I'm now going to have his legs, so I'm going to put my scissors over here neatly, and I'm going to take my leg, and I'm going to glue it. What do you think, Miss Eddie? Hmm? What do you think of our puppet? Yes. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. You know what Miss Eddie just told me? We need to have boots because the leprechaun has boots. Well, you see how he has his legs here? See that? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those little pieces that we had before and I'm just going to cut them off because it's a rectangle. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna glue it right down here on his leg. And do you know what? That's gonna look like boots. Just like boots. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
I'm just cutting off the piece. Doesn't matter how big it is. You just think about whatever you want. And I'm going to glue it right here, like this. So now, there's my leprechaun with his boots. Oh, it is starting to look like a leprechaun. Oh, we forgot something else though, didn't we, Miss Eddie? Miss Eddie reminded me that we need to put a hat on our leprechaun because on this leprechaun, there is a hat. You can see it, yes. So we're going to be making a hat. Now, how are we gonna make that hat? Well, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna use these straight edges on our green paper. Now, on this green paper, it might be a little crooked, so we're gonna get another piece of green paper. And you see these straight edges here, right? You see the angle. We're gonna cut, we're gonna draw down here. Remember, we're gonna draw like a rectangle. And this time, it's not going to be a square. Remember last time it was a square? This is a rectangle this time. So we're gonna cut it out like this. And this is gonna be his hat. And we're going to, we're gonna need a band. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look and see how big his head is. And we're going to put a little dot over here, right from here to here, from this, from this uh, paper bag. We're gonna put a little dot right there. And that's where we're gonna cut the band. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut another strip. And this is gonna be the band of his hat. Mm -hmm. Oh, might be a little long, right? I don't want a long band like that. So I'm gonna cut the band like this. And now I'm going, so I have the band that looks like this. Now I'm going to cut it. I'm gonna put the glue here. And I'm going to put it here. I already cut it, so I'm gonna put it here. So now the band looks like that. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look like a leprechaun hat yet, though, does it? No. Now I'm gonna take this part, the rectangle part, and uh, remember we glue it on the part that has the blue on it, because we don't want the other, we don't want that to show. And we're gonna put it right here. And now we have our leprechaun hat. Wee, there he is. He does look like a leprechaun, doesn't he? Oh, but you know what? We did not put his beard on, and that's where our yarn comes in. Oh, Miss Miss Eddie. Oh, Miss Eddie, you want to get the yarn? You want to get the yarn from this boy, from this mud pile manners? Here we go. All righty, you can get the yarn for me. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right, Miss Eddie, thank you. You are so polite and so kind. Well, we have our our yarn that Miss Eddie brought over and I'm just gonna cut a piece like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut little pieces off like this. This is gonna be part of his beard because a leprechaun has a beard. I'm just gonna put it like this. Mm-hmm, how are we doing? Are we doing good? Okay, and if you wanna stop the video at any time and you want to have more time, you can do that. Now I'm gonna take my glue and I'm just going to take the glue and I'm gonna put little dots around his face at, like this, see? And you see the glue right there around his face? Right there, all the way around. Now I'm gonna take my pieces of yarn and I'm gonna very carefully place them on the glue. 
as like this, just like this. Right like this. And just don't press it down too hard because then it'll come back up. So you want to just lightly press it down. Oh, Mr. Leprechaun, you look so wonderful. Now, on the hat, I am going to make a little window. Sort of looks like a window. So it's like a square and has a line across it, like this. Okay. Yes, so now we have our leprechaun. And we might want to put, you notice how I have hands on this leprechaun. See how I have hands over here? So I want to put hands on my leprechaun. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my pink paper, part of the pink that I had before, always want to use my scraps, and I'm going to draw a circle on that pink paper, and I'm going to divide it in half, just like I did before when I did the ears. But these are going to be the hands instead. So I'm going to Cut the circle out like this and cut it in half and now I'm going to take the glue glue it on here and I'm going to put it one hand there and I'm going to put one hand over here and now I have my leprechaun there he is boys and girls oh miss eddie do you want to come and look at the leprechaun you can come and see it what do you think what do you think of the leprechaun what do you think do you like it you like the leprechaun oh you do yes well miss eddie always gives us manners but she rhymes the manners don't you Yes, and do you remember some of the manners we were going to learn today? Well, please and thank you are words that you say when you want to be polite in every day. Right? Please and thank you. Do you say please and thank you? Yes, you do. Chewing gum is only right. When you don't make sounds, it's only polite. You don't make sounds if you chew any gum. No. Sometimes it's fun to chew gum, but most of the time you just don't want to make sounds with it. When you listen to music, that is such fun. Turn it down so you don't disturb everyone. What do you think of that? Yes, you turn it down so you don't disturb everyone. Well, Miss Eddie, did you make up these poems for our manners? You did? I love them. Thank you so much. Well, can you say goodbye to the boys and girls? Because next time we're going to do some more fun things. We might even learn a leprechaun song. We didn't have time today to do that. So next time we're going to learn a leprechaun song. Okay? All right. Say goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye.